Cameron's mom and dad, Victor and Libby Boyce, have now set up the Cameron Boyce Foundation to honor their son and end epilepsy. First of all, let me say how truly sorry I am for your loss as a mom. My heart really aches for you. Mm -hmm. um, and before we get into the foundation, for those that may not know, just tell us a little bit about what happened. Cameron was diagnosed with epilepsy when he was 17 years old, so about three years ago. Um, he had a total of five seizures in, um, in the time between being 17 and when he passed. Um, he had his first seizure and he had some friends sleeping over um, and it was early in the morning and they witnessed um, him and they came running into our room um, and we went in and he was really out of it and we didn't know what happened and we um, called 911 and they came and, and, and got him and they had told us it was a seizure. Mm. When we went to the neurologist after that event, because he was quickly better after the ER visit, he was fine. We, we went to the neurologist for them to you know, do some more testing, etc. There was nothing in his MRI. There was nothing, no tests showed anything. Um, and they told us that if he had another seizure, he would be considered to have epilepsy. Okay. Um, and so he did have another one, but it was a year later. Wow. So you knew he had epilepsy. You had no idea this could even be fatal. No. no. So what is SUDEP? Just walk us through that. His cause of death was sudden, unexpected death in epilepsy. And I still didn't know that wasn't a thing. I just right. thought it was kind of a description of how he died. And so two months after he passed, that was the first time I'd ever heard SUDEP. It is generally something that people pass away um, from an epileptic seizure and they're otherwise healthy. Mm -hmm. So there's no pre-existing condition. Mm -hmm. uh, we did not know anything about SUDEP until... No one had even informed you that it would be possible? No, oh. until the medical examiner who did the autopsy on our son told us what it was. Okay, so now talk to me about the foundation, the Cameron Boyce Foundation. This is something that you want to help educate people, but there's also a lot of other things that are incorporated into yes. this because he was really into charity. Cameron was very, very charitable mm -hmm. as a human. He understood that he had an obligation as somebody who was a public figure mm -hmm. um, to do good in the world. And he took that very, very seriously. That was really important to him. And he just did so much in terms of, you know, visiting kids in the hospital. And he was also starting something called Wielding Peace, okay. which is about reducing gun violence, okay. giving young people alternatives to violence and negativity. But then you also want to educate people on epilepsy because there's yes. a lot of misinformation that's out there. People don't know what to do. Correct. We recognize that there's not enough education out there about epilepsy and that there's not enough research. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just feel it's really important and that he would want us to be getting this information yeah. out to and the helping. public and helping others. So Victor, who is this foundation set up to help? Everyone, because everyone knows someone who's affected by epilepsy mm -hmm. uh, to some degree. Um, but specifically, we wanna help parents and loved ones of people who are affected because they don't have the support, they don't have the education, and we also need the research dollars to try to end it. So research dollars are vital, vital, vital to help people, and we hope that in our lifetime, we can come up with a cure. And what can we do to help with this foundation? Uh, you can donate. donate. Mm -hmm. You can go to CameronVoiceFoundation.org and donate um, any amount Big or small is great. We also should mention that we have a partnership with the Epilepsy Foundation. Okay. Um, and November is, is Epilepsy Month. Um, epilepsy Awareness Month. Where are your purple? Correct. Wear purple. <laughs> purple is the color of epilepsy awareness. Okay. And there's also a partnership under the umbrella of No SUDEP Now. No okay. is K N O W. Okay. SUDEP now so that people learn about it and people talk about it and respond to it in a way that could positively impact their life. Um, and before you go, let me ask you, what would you want everyone to know about Cameron? People ask, it's... It's, it's kind of complicated it's because <laughs> he, he touched so much literally lives. millions of lives. Kids and parents alike always tell me how he's affected them in a positive way. And so for us, we just want to, because he's no longer with us, we want to continue that. We want to continue that he always touches people even though he's not here anymore. I just want to say that Cameron was a, such a joy as a son, as a human. As his dad says, he was a big goofball, but he was 
really, really, really loyal and, and, and dedicated and loving of his family and his friends. Um, he was kind of everybody's cheerleader. He made everybody feel special. Um, and he just emanated life. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you for being so courageous. Thank, thank you. you so much.